Hi everybody, how are you? Uh, if you have problems with humidity in the house, uh, your most expensive and usually logical way to go is that you buy a dehumidifier and you run that. So that brings up a bit of an issue. Not everybody has the money to buy a dehumidifier. I mean, they can be expensive. And then if you have a lot of humidity to deal with, you're running it all the time or a good part of the time. Uh, and that, of course, adds up uh, on your monthly power bill. So there are a number of different ways out there that you can help bring the humidity down a bit. And uh, one of the most effective ways I found uh, was using a, a product called Damp Rid. And you'll see that at Canadian Tire and Amazon and other places like that. And basically what it is, it's a container that they give you that uh, they fill full of pellets and uh, you let it sit somewhere and it'll draw the moisture out of the air and uh, through the pellets and then it will collect in the bottom of the container. And eventually you throw that away and uh, you start all over again. So a couple of things with that. Damp grid can be quite expensive actually. I mean for a four pound uh, box and a, and, and a refill for it, you're in at about $20 and they tell you that it's going to last for, you know, up to 60 days. So what they're doing in essence of taking a product called calcium chloride and putting that into a box and calcium chloride is a form of salt and it will draw the moisture out of the air and uh, onto the calcium chloride. And since the calcium chloride is water soluble, it will start to melt and the moisture that it collects will drip into the bottom of the container uh, in the form of water, which you dump. So I looked at that and I thought, okay, well, a couple things. Most of those containers are really small and it's quite expensive. Um, and how well does it work? So I sourced some things out on the internet and uh, I found what I think is a pretty uh, cost of effective way to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a product that is around pretty well everywhere, especially at this time of year uh, with winter coming, and we're going to use that in the same fashion that you would use the damp rid, and that's a calcium chloride. So having said that, what I did was I found a bag of ice melt, and the primary ingredient is, in this is calcium chloride, which is exactly what they're doing with the damp rid product, but it's considerably cheaper. I bought a 25 pound sack of pure calcium chloride off of Amazon and you can buy it at Canadian Tire and Home Depot and different brand names. But the key thing is you want to look for the words calcium chloride on the bag. And so in this case, I'm getting 25 pounds of it for a lot less than if I'm buying the damp rid product. So what do we do with it? Well, there's a couple things you can do. The damp rid product, when you buy it, I'll provide a link uh, along with this video that uh, you can have a look at it and see what it looks like in real life. It's really a, a rectangle or a, or a jar type product. Uh, and usually it's two items that nest into each other like this. And the premise of it is, is that on the bottom of the first container, there's a bunch of holes for the water to drip out of. You put that into a second container that doesn't have any holes. You put your damp rid, uh, sorry, your damp rid, or in this case, the calcium chloride into the first container it draws in the moisture and eventually becomes so saturated it starts to melt and the water from that collects in the bottom and you dump that out. Now, this is okay if you're working with a small area, maybe a closet or maybe a small bathroom. But as you can see, you know, this type of size that they sell on, you know, aren't, aren't really going to cover a lot of areas. So I thought to myself, okay, we have a lot of plants in the house. They generate a lot of moisture. I can run my dehumidifier, which I have but I don't, want to, I don't want to waste the power to do that. So what's a more cost-effective way to do that? So I looked at it and I said, okay, I've bought the 25 pounds of calcium chloride. What happens if I take two big pails and, uh, and use the same principle that the damp rid does, except on a larger, larger mass? So the first thing I've done is one of the pails, I've drilled holes into the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. And that's to let the water out, okay? The second pail, is to catch the water. Now, if I was just to nest the first one into the second one, uh, there's not going to be enough clearance along the bottom, uh, bottom to collect any water, and in turn, that's a problem. Um, so, I've gotten a couple of uh, little planter pots I've had left over from the spring, and I'm going to take them, and I'm going to lift the first lid out with the holes in it. We're going to set them in upside down so we have somewhere for the larger pail to sit on, allowing the water to accumulate on the bottom of the uh, of the second pail. Then I'm gonna put the first pail inside that, which now gives me a nice rise like this. I've got plenty of room to collect water, and in the top, I'm gonna to put my calcium chloride. 
And again, this is a sidewalk de-icer. When you buy this, make sure you don't buy sodium chloride because it is a slightly different product and it doesn't draw the moisture as well. Once you've got your bag open, we're going to take some of this and we're going to pour an awful lot of it into the first container. I'm going to use about a quarter bag. That's probably five pounds or so. Maybe a little bit more, maybe about six pounds. Now, as far as the mechanics of this go, you're done. And um, I want you to see what the product looks like now and once it starts to draw moisture. So now, it's a very fine granular powder, uh, actually little pellets, and uh, they're quite loose. What I did do is I took some calcium chloride and I put it in a tray, which you don't want to do because the water you catch is going to evaporate back into the air. You want the pail system or a two-part system so it collects in the bottom and the top pail start, stops it from evaporating back into the air. But I want to show you what happens even after a few hours. You see, it's become uh, a hard product. Uh, it starts to stick together to itself. And what it's doing, it's picking up the moisture in the air and, uh, and clumping together, which is exactly what you want to do, right? Why is that important? Because that means it's working. It's taking moisture out of the air. Now, this is after just a few hours of sitting and uh, we're already starting to get it to uh, absorb the moisture. On a big container like this, or even on the small ones, when you have them stacked, it's gonna start to get hard. And eventually, what's in that container, in that pail, is gonna start lowering and disappearing because it's going to absorb the water in the air, the humidity in the air, and then all the water is going to fall to the bottom of the bucket. And eventually, the top bucket is going to be empty, which you're going to empty after you collect all the water. So that's the principle behind it. You want to look for calcium chloride. And again, that's in all, not all, but in most, uh, most sidewalk uh, de-icing agents. Uh, if it's got other chemicals in it, don't buy it. Make sure it's got a, a good percentage of calcium chloride, usually about 87%, or if you can find it pure, which isn't that hard to do, you just have to look a little bit for it. After you've got it in your pail, you can set this anywhere you want. You can put it in the basement if it happens to be musty down there, anywhere that it's, it's not a visible place because you don't want to see pe you know, have people see you with buckets sitting around the house. Now, keep in mind, when we're talking about smaller containers like this, you can nest them and put one in the bathroom, you can put one uh, in a closet, you can put one in a smaller room because the moment you pour that calcium chloride in there, it's going to start absorbing, uh, absorbing the moisture, so it'll help. Uh, this is really going to be good for really tiny little areas. A bucket like this, like the big one, full of calcium chloride, is probably going to cover, you know, five to eight hundred square feet and uh, it will continue to remove the humidity from the air and turn it into water so you can dump it later on. So uh, one last tip, when you're done pouring your calcium chloride out of the bag, seal this really well because if you don't seal it well, you're going to wind up with the bag drawing moisture out of the air and having one big solid lump of calcium chloride, which is not going to be good to anybody. And one last tip, whether it be in a small container or whether it be in a, uh, a large container like this, you want to get in with something and you can stir it up and break it up a little bit to keep it effective a little bit longer. Eventually it will dissipate and uh, you won't even see it anymore. But while it's working, you can come into the big uh, container, stir it up with a wooden spoon or anything you have just to give it a good, uh, you know, a, a good mixture so everything keeps working and absorbing. Um, is this safe product? From what I read, um, it is. In small amounts, we actually have it in uh, some of our foods, including pickling, uh, agents, uh, so you'll see that uh, it's a salt of, of type, so it is actually consumable in small amounts. Um, they call it pet safe a lot of times when they use it on the uh, on the concrete as a de-icer. It's because it won't burn your pet's feet like regular salt will. Um, you know, it's a bit of a trade-off on on uh, how safe it is, but everything I've read up on it says that it's fine. Like damp root itself will tell you to flush the fluids that come out of this into your toilet. I don't think I'd do that. I mean, we're putting salt into piping. It's probably not the best idea. I'll find a place to dispose of this on my property that isn't going to harm anything anywhere. And, uh, you know, really in the long run, that's exactly what the Damp Rid product is. So check out the link to Damp Rid. Uh, get a good idea of what it does, and uh, you'll see how much it costs. 
And then in the long run, make your own because this is a really cost-effective way to make sure that uh, the humidity levels in your house come down and uh, you won't be running a dehumidifier and you won't be spending a lot of money on electricity. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. See you around the neighborhood. Take care.